how so let us start with the revision of the next chapter polynomial surface area volume we have finished polynomial chapter ki revision shuru karte hain aaj so first of all first part first concept of the chapter i would like to take the definition part first concept is definition part under which we have learned that what is the definition of the poly polynomial what is the different kind of polynomial the uh, kinds of polynomial on the basis of degree on the basis of you can say terms coefficients constant polynomial zero polynomial and degree of the polynomial such kind of things we have done under under the concepts of the chapter so the first thing we will do concepts we will uh, recall the concept under which we have done certain definition so polynomial of degree n in the variable px in the variable x denoted by px defined as pn uh, an x raised to power n an minus 1 x raised to power n minus 1 an minus 2 x raised to power n minus 2 so on up to a not x raised to power 0 so this is the polynomial in variable x x variable mein agar hum polynomial ki baat kare so this is the polynomial in variable x right so a uh, variable and constant we define it earlier that variable whose value varies that is called variable constant whose value remains fixed right so in this definition of polynomial you can see so many definitions which are involved one is when we are defining a polynomial we are naming a polynomial polynomial is always named after the variable which is involved in the polynomial as this polynomial has involved x as variable so i am naming the polynomial as px what about this an an minus 1 an minus 2 a not these all are the real numbers we did it earlier also ye sare real number hai what is n that means the parts of the variable they should be the whole number jo power of the variable hai n this is this should be the whole number and this polynomial will be regarded as polynomial of degree n isko hum kahenge polynomial of degree n polynomial of degree n why so because here the maximum power is n therefore degree is n kyunki iski maximum power n hai to isliye hum degree n lenge degree of the polynomial is the maximum power of the variable involved in the polynomial so as the maximum power is n so the degree of the polynomial will take here to be n so degree we have defined it is defined as maximum power of the variable involved uh, involved in the polynomial so when if, when we say that the degree of this polynomial is n only when the coefficient from where the degree is defined from this term we are defining the degree x raised to power n maximum power thi to ye degree ban gayi the coefficient from which it is defined this term say the term from which it is defined this term say hum polynomial ko define kar rahe hain uska coefficient it should be not equal to 0 that means here an should not equal to 0 so first we did the definition of the polynomial in which we learned the definition of the degree of the polynomial second then isi concept ke andar हमने जो नेक्स्ट चीज की थी वो है हमारे पास क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिग्री ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिग्री वी लर्न दैट द पॉलिनोमियल कैन बी डिवाइडेड एज फॉलोस द डिग्री टू दिस इज पहले डिग्री वन दिस इज कॉल्ड लीनियर लीनियर पॉलिनोमियल फॉर एग्जांपल एक्स प्लस टू its x is having 1 as degree so degree of the polynomial is 1 so this polynomial is called is known as linear polynomial do send your notebooks again and again i don't have to give you a reminder i don't have to give you intimation it's your duty to send it whatever time is being assigned to you for the same right your marks are to be written not mine so you should be responsible enough for the same 
So degree is one, so linear polynomial. Then degree two, that is called quadratic. For example, x square plus two x plus five. कुछ भी कह सकते हो आप. Degree two होनी चाहिए. Then we did polynomial with the degree three, and that is called cubic. That is called cubic. And uh, the example you can take x cube plus two x plus six. So three types of biquadratic भी होती है जिसकी degree four होती है but हमारे uh, syllabus में कमी है biquadratic के question. Biquadratic is a polynomial whose degree is four, right? So this is the on the basis of degree we have classified the polynomial. Then on the basis of terms we have classified the polynomial. On the basis of terms so what is the meaning of term term ka meaning kya hota hai suppose i am writing an expression here can anyone tell me that how many terms are there in this expression raise your hand come forward give me the answer anyone jia gorav tanveen yes tanveen se puchte hain haan ji tanveen you tell How many terms are there? One. One term is there. One. Until or unless plus or minus sign is not there, the term will be counted as a single term, right? So, on the basis of term, if it is containing one term, then it is called monomial. It is called monomial. For example, two x. If it is containing two terms, then it is called binomial. Example five x plus seven. If it is containing three terms, then it is called trinomial. Example three x plus you can say three x square plus five x plus seven. Trinomial. So you should know these definitions. Sometimes in exam it can be asked write a quadratic polynomial which is trinomial as well. Same example you can give quadratic polynomial which is trinomial as well. Just keep terms three in hand. So you have to write such a quadratic polynomial which is having three terms. So example is in front of you. Write a binomial which is linear. Write a binomial which is cubic as well. Five x cube plus seven. So this can uh, this this kind of question can be answered only when you know the meaning of these two. clearly right then next we have discussed about the coefficients coefficient 2x square minus 5xy plus 9 suppose we have to um write the coefficient of xy so we have to look at the term which is containing xy Just that term is to be seen, and you have to just just hide this x y. Whatever is left, that is coefficient. Some of the students they take it wrongly. Whatever is left, he is they are taking in the left things as two x square plus nine. No, whatever is left in that very term, that is to be taken as coefficient. So you just circle this term, hide x y minus five is left. So this minus five is the coefficient, right? So, ये हमारे पास है कॉफिशन की डेफिनेशन डिग्री ऑफ टू स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ पॉलिनोम वन इज द कॉन्स्टेंट पॉलिनोम उस डिग्री वी हैव डिफाइंड एंड अनदर इज द जीरो पॉलिनोम जीरो पॉलिनोम So, as far as the constant polynomial is concerned, any constant can be regarded as a constant polynomial. If I am taking hundred, that is a constant polynomial. If I am taking five hundred, that is a constant polynomial. I am taking two hundred, root two, root three, root five, root six. Anything which is not containing variable, all of those, all of those numbers, all of these numbers, they are known as constant polynomial. So, if we are talking about the degree of the constant polynomial, suppose this. Degree is always defined from a variable. Degree can also be detected from a degree. Degree can always be detected from a variable. So this constant is not involving any variable in it. So how we can define its degree? We have to introduce the variable. 
how to introduce a variable by using exponents law that anything raised to zero is always one. So I can introduce variable along with three, writing it to be three into x raised to power zero. So it is very much clear that here degree comes out to be zero. So degree of constant polynomial is always zero. You know, zero is also a constant. But we are separating the zero polynomial. We are not keeping it in the category of constant polynomials. We are taking it out. Reason being, suppose I want to find the degree of the zero polynomial. Same way, can I find it same way? Can I write it to be this and say that the zero, uh, degree of zero polynomial is zero, anyone? Can I write zero to be zero into x raised to power zero and say that degree of this polynomial, zero polynomial is zero? Ishani. क्या मैं ऐसे करके इस एक्सप्लेनेशन के थ्रू सेम वे एज वी डिड इन द अनदर इन द केस ऑफ द अनदर कॉन्स्टेंट कैन वी से इन केस ऑफ जीरो पॉलिनोम एज वेल सो आई कैन सी ईशानी हेयर इज लेफ्ट दीपाली यू टेल दीपाली आप बताओ यस दीपाली यस मैम can we explain the degree of the zero polynomial in the same way as we have explained in the case of the constant polynomial and can you can say uh, final finalize that zero polynomial is having zero as degree no ma'am reason being what is the reason ma'am because ma'am because if x is having any degree it will be multiplied by zero and answer will be zero तो तो फिर तो आंसर विल बी जीरो तो वहां से ये तो पता चल ही नहीं रहा कि डिग्री वो बनी के नहीं विट इट द डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम वेयर द डिग्री इज डिफाइंड द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ दैट वेरिएबल दैट टर्म शुड बी नॉन जीरो इफ आई एम डिफाइनिंग द सपोज दिस इज लाइक दिस आई एम डिफाइनिंग द डिग्री ऑफ दिस पॉलिनोम जीरो पॉलिनोम फ्रॉम दिस टर्म बट it contradicts the fact the definition that the coefficient from where the degree is defined the term from where the degree is defined its coefficient should be non zero its coefficient is zero so we can't define the degree of zero polynomial in the same way as we define in the case of the constant polynomial so that's why we say degree of the zero poly polynomial is not defined zero polynomial's degree is not defined right so next i am discussing next uh, matlab definition concepts ke andar hi humne jo next sikha tha uh, that was how to confirm that an algebraic expression is a polynomial how to confirm that an algebraic expression is a polynomial you know algebraic expression the whole chapter we did in 8th standard we know that algebraic expression is the combination of the constants and the variables attached by arithmetical operation plus minus multiply etc so if i write uh, algebraic expression i can write it to be like this kisi tarike se bhi hum algebraic expression jo hai wo likh sakte hain 1 by x 5 plus x raised to power minus 1 and whatever every combination in the variables containing variables and the constants connected by arithmetic operation it forms algebraic expression but every algebraic expression is not a polynomial for example if i see here x is containing negative part but in the definition of polynomial we learned that x should contain the whole number as part only then the expression will be variable a polynomial that means every algebraic expression need not be a polynomial but polynomial every polynomial is algebraic expression a koi bhi polynomial le lo it is a combination of the variables and constant that's why it can be regarded as expression also algebraic expression also but every algebraic expression need not be a polynomial that's why i'm making the heading that how to confirm that an algebraic expression is a polynomial see 
Suppose we are given x square upon 5 plus 2x plus 9. We want to detect whether it is a polynomial or not. So, do thin cheese you have to take me. is variable should be in numerator. Ek to variable numerator me hona chahiye. Second, power of the variable power of the variable should be a whole number power of the variable should be a whole number ab dono cheeze apply karenge hum expression pe and then we will say that whether that expression is a polynomial or not apply Variable is a numerator, that is okay. And the power of the variable everywhere it is a whole number. So this can be regarded as a polynomial. Second example I'm taking, suppose I'm having x raised to power minus 2 plus 5x plus 3. Some of the students immediately looking at it, they say that this is not a polynomial as the power is negative. It is whole, not a whole number. But they forgot this fact that before detecting an algebraic expression to be a polynomial, the uh, variable should be in the numerator. So x raised to power minus 2 using the concept of exponents, we can shift it in the numerator like negative power become positive power. So now the, new, uh, the variable is in numerator and the power of the variable everywhere is a whole number. So this is a polynomial. Right? One more example I'm taking. Suppose the question is like this, x square upon x raised to power 3 plus 5 root x upon x raised to power 1 by 2 plus 5. As a question, you paper me paper. Check whether this expression is a polynomial or not. We have to deal with the powers of the variable. If after shifting the variable in the numerator, powers comes out to be the whole number, then it will be so. Otherwise, it's not going to be a polynomial. See, using the concept of exponents, this is same division ka sign, powers will get subtracted. Using uh, the concept of uh, exponent, ek minute, one by, a root ka matlab 1 by 2 power. Isko aise likho. Root means 1 by 2 power. So this is x raised to power minus 1. This is get cancelled. 5 plus 5. Aage solve karne ki zirurat hi nahi hai. Variable, it is coming in the numerator and it is coming in the numerator with a negative power. It means this expression is not a polynomial. One more example I am considering. Suppose the question is like this. Instantly, when the students look at uh, this expression, they used to say that this is not a polynomial. Without solving, without keeping in mind that the new variable is to be shifted in the numerator to be solved and then it is to be detected that it is a polynomial or, or not. They just make their decision by looking at the negative powers and the square root. So let me see, let us see that how to explain it. Root x means x raised to power 1 by 2. We all know we did square root, uh, square and square root in 8th standard. And we know that the, uh, that the root, square root means 1 by 2 power. Now, here you can apply exponents. Basis same, division ka sign. Powers will get subtracted. Iski power minus 2, iski power minus 3, dono minus ho jayenge. Each me minus ka sign. Plus 5. Yaha pe bhi basis same. Division ka sign, powers will get subtracted. 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 plus 5. X raised to power minus 2 minus minus plus 3 plus 5. Further, it is equal to 3. X raised to power, solving uh, the fractions, it will be 2 by 2. 
plus 5 x raised to power 1 plus 5 2 to get cancelled this is 3x plus 5x plus 5 and this is 8x plus 5 that is this complicated expression is having the actual value 8x plus 5 can anyone imagine without solving it that this complicated or this uh, you can say mix and match expression answer com can come out like 8x plus 5 but it is so the answer is 8x plus 5 using the laws of exponent that the bases are same sign is of division the parts will get subtracted in this term and in the next term also bases are same division sign is there so parts are going to get subtracted so accordingly you see that this is a polynomial and uh, you can say instantly if uh, we see it it doesn't seems to be but it is a polynomial so this is the way to detect a polynomial don't go directly to make your decision about polynomial take two things in mind first of all variable should be in the numerator and secondly the power of the variable should be you can say whole number right so this is our definition part as far as uh, polynomials first exercise you can say is concerned so Let us do some examples. Uh, uh, some, some of the questions were there in the uh, paper, uh, like uh, what is the, I'm writing one expression in which I will explain two, three questions collectively. Expression is, 7x raised to power 5 minus 5x plus 6 divided by 11, 3 by 4 x raised to power 4 minus x raised to power 11. This is an expression. First about this expression, I have to tell degree of the polynomial. First of all, when we have to check the degree, just to see one thing, that any variable koi niche to nahi hai, bilkul nahi hai. First thing, variable should not be in the numerator. Secondly, you see the power of the variable in the different term and see that which power is the maximum one. If you see here, here is a power 5, here it is a power 1, here it is a power 4, here it is a power 11, maximum power is 1, 11. So degree of the polynomial is 11. Second, I, if I if I'm asking what is the coefficient of x raised to power 5 we want to find the coefficient of x raised to power 5 now here the students definitely they used to do mistake uh, in uh, giving the answer of this question coefficient of x raised to power 5 student they used to say that the coefficient is the number associated with the term so they say 7 galat 7 ho sakta hai, but uske niche 11 bhi to hai. Agar hum is polynomial mein 11 ko sabke niche likhe, hum likh sakte hai. Fractions mein humne sikha tha, number can be written uh, under the each term of the numerator. Aise likhe, to directly you can identify that the coefficient of x is to, uh, x is to 5, this is 7 by 11, not 7. So coefficient of x is to 5, this is 7 by 11. So one more question associated with the same coefficient of x raised to 11. Coefficient of x raised to power 11. Kya hai x raised to power 11 ka coefficient aapke saamne? Jo bhi iske saath number attached hai, that is minus 1. Student, they used to write 1. Then again, they lose marks in that sense. Minus is to be taken along with. Next is, what is the constant term of this expression? Constant term. 
इस एक्सप्रेशन में कांस्टेंट टर्म आपने एक्सप्रेशन को सारा जो है वो बाइफ्रिकेट कर लिया न्यूमिनेटर्स को डिनोमिनेटर को न्यूमिनेटर्स के नीचे लिख लिया सो यू कैन सी द टर्म विच इज विच कैन बी रिगार्डेड एज अ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म इफ इट इज नॉट इन इफ इट इफ नो वेरिएबल इज इन्वॉल्व इन द टर्म then it is called the constant term so this is the term which is having which is which don't have any variable in it so it can be regarded as constant term 5 by 11 so one question so i am i am telling you that uh, how to see the different type of things through the sing single question next question i am telling you prepare yourself as if you are going to sit in offline exam don't uh, think that uh, we will not study and this or that way so attend your lectures regularly so we are explaining each of the things uh, from the point of view that how the question can be framed in the paper so it will be better for you if you attend the lecture find the coefficient of x square next question find the coefficient of x square in this expression now students they used to think that this statement is wrong because the question is asked that find the coefficient of x square and uh, this uh, expression is not containing x square so the question is wrong those who are thinking so rather they are wrong because whenever we have to find the coefficient the expression should be in the simplified form this expression is not in the simplified form first of all we will simplify by opening the bracket how to open the bracket first bracket ka first number second bracket as it is first bracket ka second number sign ke sath and then second bracket as it is right so let us open the bracket 3x into x 3x square 3x into 1 by x multiply This is x cube into x, x raised to four, x cube into one by x. So this is three x square plus three plus x raised to power four plus x square. अब यहाँ तक solve करके भी some of the students they are saying that the coefficient is three and some of them are saying that the coefficient is one. No, until or unless the expression is not, uh, you can say solved. completely simplified completely you can't detect the coefficient so 3x square plus x square it becomes 4x square plus 3 plus x raised to the power 4 so it's very obvious from uh, this expression after solving it that the coefficient it comes out to be 4 and earlier it was seen that it doesn't contain any term of x square so will not have any coefficient of x square rather it comes out to be 4 right if someone is asking you what is the necessary what is the necessary condition necessary condition for the indices for the indices of x in a polynomial of x question ka meaning samjho what is the necessary condition for the indices of x in the polynomial of x what is the meaning of indices indices means index index means power when we are having a polynomial in the variable x what should be the condition on the indices or the power of x in the polynomial the power of x should be a whole number you can say or you can say it should be a non negative integer zero is also non negative integer neither negative nor positive so you can say indices of x should be a whole number right
some writings, some of the questions, and uh, you will do it. Find coefficient of x square in two x minus five, two x square minus three x plus one. Next, what is the degree? What is the degree of the polynomial? What is the degree of the polynomial? 4x raised to power 4, 0 into x cube, 0 into x raised to power 5, plus 5x plus 7. Next. Give an example. of a trinomial which is cubic as well. Which is cubic as well. Give an example of a uh, trinomial which is cubic as well. We'll continue tomorrow from here.